Hello, my name is James Chavis. As a member of the governing board of MCC, I bring you greetings from the board and our moderator, Reverend Elder Cecilia Eggleston. I would like to thank you for your faithfulness to MCC, especially during this time of COVID-19. Thank you, Pastor Steve, to you and your team for your leadership during this pandemic. It has made a difference. I'm amazed at how our churches have responded and adapted to a virtual world. St. John's the Apostle MCC, your assessments have been so important to the ministry of MCC here and around the world. We are filled with gratitude that your church has continued to provide ministry within your community and helped MCC continue with its vital ministry in the world. We want you to know that your church has been noticed, it has been valued and prayed for. Keep up the good work and again, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Welcome this morning and Happy New Year. You're saying, Pastor, you're a little bit early. No, I'm right on time. This is the first Sunday of the, the new year. Uh, we're in now year B. We were in year A uh, last week and now this is year B. And we have a year C. It's a three-year cycle uh, that we do. So we're in Advent 1, year B today. So Happy New Year. I hope everyone had a blessed and relaxing Thanksgiving day and that uh, you're ready to begin our journey uh, to Christmas. And today is the Sunday we celebrate hope, hope, the first Sunday. And it's very important that we, we catch on to that and hold on to that, hold on to hope because we are a people of hope believing in God's providence and that Jesus not only did he come but Jesus is coming more and more into this world so just a reminder of that for all of us and uh, and I'm so glad you're taking time out of your day to spend time in worship with us I'm also uh, uh, hope that you remember that we still are doing the uh, toy drive for uh, the children of uh, that are infected or affected with HIV and AIDS. We work through ICANN with that, and they request this year, because of the way things are, that we only provide um, gift certificates, gift cards, in $10 increments, either from Walmart or Target, uh, and they will distribute those to the children. So I pray we have a blessed and holy Advent. Amen. <music>
our call to worship. After such suffering, we go searching for a sign, any sign. The sun seems to dim, the moon fails, the stars fall. We need a sign, any sign. Be aware, stay awake, change is coming. We hope that the human one is on the way, gathering the faithful from the four winds into a place of peace. We need a sign, any sign. Be aware, stay awake, change is coming. Nature once offered signs to depend on. The fig tree put out tender leaves and we knew summer was near. But climate today is hurting and unpredictable. We need a sign, any sign. Be aware, stay awake, change is coming. So together we search for a sign of the one who is coming. Clarity in confusion. Green shoot in a barren landscape. Song arising in a weary soul. Be aware, stay awake, change is coming. Come, let us worship. Amen. Amen. O Holy One, we light this first candle, a candle of grief in the midst of the stories of the last year. Let it burn through these weeks as a beacon to become the light of hope. Let it guide us to your presence in our midst, leading us to your justice and joy in the service of peace. God be with us in this light of hope. This is our opportunity as a church family to come together and offer prayers to our Lord. You know, we have multiple ways of praying, of course, and one of those ways is the prayer bear ministry. And just a reminder that these prayer bears have been sent around the world and they have brought joy, happiness, peace, and love to those who are in need. So if you're interested in having a prayer bear being sent to someone, please just reach out to our church and uh, the information that we will need is the, the name of the person, the address of the individual, who is it from, and is there a message that you would like to include with the prayer bearer, and your telephone number in case there are further questions uh, that we may have. 
So please take that opportunity uh, to consider our prayer bear ministry. And another way we pray in this church, of course, is together. And so I ask you now to join me as we gathered together and come into prayer. Holy Creator, God Almighty, we are so very grateful for this day. We're grateful for this beginning season of Advent. We're grateful for you giving us the message of hope and of salvation as we wait for that glorious day of Christmas. We know, Lord, that there is nothing that will stop Christmas from coming. We know that you will be available to us on that beautiful morning of Christmas. And your availability will be through the reminder that a baby has been born into this world, Emmanuel, and that we, we are the children of God, as you have brought that baby into this world to remind us of how much we are loved. Lord, as we do prepare for this wonderful Advent season, I do ask, though, that you hear us as we say, whether loudly or quietly, the names of those that are on our hearts. Please listen, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for hearing these names and thank you for lifting these people up. We know that they are in the palm of your hands and that they are protected and they are loved. We also know, Lord, that there are many who are suffering, suffering from multiple, multiple issues in their lives. And we lift them up as well. And we ask that you protect us as we continue to pray for the vaccine to conquer COVID-19. We have so much to be grateful, Lord. Even in the midst of a pandemic, you have been there. You continue to be there. And we are continued to be loved by you. So Lord, as we prepare for that glorious Christmas morning, we ask that you watch over all of us. You watch over our county, you watch over our state, you watch over our nation, you watch over our world. We are in need of you, Lord, and we love you. Please let that love grow and spread as we continue to work towards the day that your kingdom is here on earth. We thank you, we give you all the honor and all the glory, now and forever. Amen and amen. Our first reading for today is from Isaiah 64, verses 1 through 9 in the New International Version. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, that the mountains would tremble before you, as when fire sets twigs ablaze and causes water to boil. Come down to make your name known to your enemies and cause the nations to quake before you. For when you did awesome things that we did not expect, you came down and the mountains trembled before you. Since ancient times, no one has heard, no car has perceived, ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you who acts on behalf of those who wait for him. You come to the help of those who gladly do right, who remember your ways. But when we continued to sin against them, you were angry. How then can we be saved? All of us have become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. We all shrivel up like a leaf, and like the wind our sins sweep us away. No one calls on your name or strives to have 
hold of you. For you have hidden your face from us and have given us over to our sins. Yet you, Lord, are a mother and father to us. We are the clay, you are the potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be angry beyond measure, Lord. Do not remember our sins forever. Oh, look on us, we pray, for we are all your people. Here ends the reading. The Gospel reading for today is from Mark 13, verses 33 through 37, from the New International Version. Be on guard. Be alert. You do not know when that time will come. It's like a couple going away. They leave their house and put their servants in charge, each with their assigned task, and tells the one at the door to keep watch. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know when the owners of the house will come back, whether in the evening, or at midnight, or when the rooster crows, or at dawn. If they come suddenly, do not let them find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to everyone, watch. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. This is a Sunday of hope. Hope is such a fleeting thing. Uh, when good times are around, we don't need hope. We know it's good times, and so we don't think about it. It's only when there's trial and confusion that we cling to this, this virtue called hope. That, that means that, that we know deep down inside that God will take care, that God is in control, that we can count on the loving care of a loving God. That's hope. We have to live each and every day with hope of a better tomorrow. You know, I'm always reminded of the, the phrase from um, the best exotic Marigold Hotel movie where the lead character says, it always works out for the good in the end. And if it's not worked out for the good, that means it's not the end. In other words, always expect the miracles to happen. That's what we have sort of in our Advent um, time. We have uh, the people of God, the Israelites, under suffering from Roman occupation and wondering if they'll ever, ever, ever have a Savior. If the Messiah will come. They always have hope that the Messiah will come and they're looking and waiting and anxious. And that's, that's what... That, that's what our, our gospel reading keeps telling us, is to watch, to be prepared, to know that God will act, God will enter in, the Messiah will come, Christ will come into our life, into our world. Now, we just have to keep living as people of hope. Don't despair no matter what's going on. Because God is there to comfort us, to take care of us, to watch over us, to know that uh, God's purpose is that we might have life and we might have life in abundance. But we have to be watchful. We have to be watchful and awake and prepared to accept the grace. You know, often, often when I pray with people for communion, you know, I will, will say in my prayer there, I pray that they have an open heart and an open hand to receive the blessings that God is going to give them. We just have to be attentive and watch for them and don't miss them. Don't miss the blessings in life. We have to always have expectation of God coming in, bursting in at every, any moment, every moment, any moment to give us a blessing. May we know that. May we live that. May we watch carefully for it. 
knowing that God is present with us now and will be present in the future. You know, our hope, one of the signs of our hope is, is when we say the Lord's Prayer, you know, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's what we look for. We look for God's reign to happen right now, right here in this real world. It's not just some uh, by and by situation. You know, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that'll be. And I believe that. But the day of rejoicing is coming on earth. It's coming in the person of Jesus Christ entering into this world and entering into our lives. May we never forget that. May we be watchful and may we be hopeful. Amen. contributions to St. John the Apostle MCC. Well, you can write a check and mail it to the church, or you can go to the sjamcc.com website, click on the donate button, and make your contribution via PayPal.
Good morning, church, and welcome to the table of the Lord Jesus Christ, where we are gathered to his supper at a foretaste of things to come, of things eternal. If you haven't already uh, gotten a wafer or a piece of bread or a cracker and a beverage, uh, grape juice or wine or even water uh, to serve as your communion meal at home, uh, Please pause the video and go and prepare these items, and we will take communion together, even though we are not in the sanctuary. As we prepare our hearts to celebrate Jesus' arrival for this Advent time, Jesus' arrival came as a gift to all eternity, to all humanity, a gift of this table, let us stir up our hearts and our homes in a sense of anticipation. Through this meal, we pray that hope would rise up in our spirits as a tangible and a life-giving way. At St. John the Apostle, as all MCC churches around the globe, we celebrate an open communion that means that you don't have to be a member of this church or any church, any organization to come to this table for all are welcome here. So to prepare ourselves for this meal, I ask that we just take a moment of silent prayer and or meditation and lift up the names or the things that are in our hearts that we want to give to God today. As your sister in Christ, I remind you that we are a loved and forgiven people. Amen? It is right and a good and a joyful thing always to give thanks to you, almighty God, creator of heaven and earth. We thank you, loving God, that we can come to this table to be fed when we are hungry, to be fed with an everlasting meal, to nourish our body, our spirit, and our soul. We thank you that we can come to this cup and drink from it, to quench our thirst regardless of the drought in our lives. We know beyond anything in the world, anything that the world can say, that we can put our hope in you. And regardless of our circumstances, we shall not fear, but we shall know that we are bound to you with that gold cord of hope. It was during that Last Supper that Jesus had with his friends and his disciples in that upper room that he gave thanks and he blessed it. And he said, This is my body, which will be given for you. It shall be broken for you. And as often as you drink, if you eat of this, do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, he took the cup, the common cup that sat on the table at every meal that they shared. And again, he gave thanks and he blessed it. And he said, this is the cup of an everlasting covenant given for you. My body, my blood given for you. As often as you drink this, drink it to remember me. And when the supper was over, he took that cup. And as we said, he blessed it. And even as he blessed that, that day, he blesses us today with this bread and with this cup. And so now, with the confidence of the children of God, let us be bold to pray the prayer that Jesus taught us as we say together, our Creator, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever and ever. Amen. I invite you at home to take and place your hands over these elements as we pray a blessing over them. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts of bread and wine and make them be for us the body and the blood of Christ that we may be for the world, the body of Christ, redeemed by Christ's blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in that final victory and we feast at that heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, and with the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty God, now and forever. Amen. As we say every time we gather together, these are the gifts of God, and we are the people of God. So let us consume this meal together, and afterwards, if you have any uh, elements left, would you please consume them? Please share them with anyone who is in your room at the time. Let us break bread together as we celebrate this eternal gift of God through Jesus Christ, our living Savior. Would you pray with me, please? Eternal God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Strengthen our faith that miracles continue to happen even in the shadows of this pandemic. God is our strength, and we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God and those who are called according to God's purpose. As we go from this table, may we go reflecting on the new hope of your plan for us, O oh God, strengthened by the nourishment of this meal, not weakened by the troubles of our world, but looking for ways to prepare for your amazing hope, lifting us and all we reach out to. In the name of Jesus, and the people say, Amen.
benediction today. Send us into the world refreshed in hope. Awake, alert, attuned to your presence, ready to join your work a blessing for all. Amen. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.